Kevin, you mentioned the pipeline and getting folks in the door. There was an article recently in the Wall Street Journal about Goldman Sachs actually implementing mm -hmm. the Rooney Rule. At Facebook, we have something called the diverse state approach. So basically, no recruiter or hiring manager can actually go through their process without seeing a diverse slate of folks before we make an offer. Curious to get your take on all of your takes, actually, jump in. Does the Rooney Rule work? Is it doing what it's intended to do? And are there, is it right for other industries to be looking to this as the model right now? I mean, personally, I look forward to the day that we don't have to have the Rooney Rule anymore. And I know just speaking for me, and I take this very personal, is that we need to create an environment that regardless of who you are, or what you stand for, that you feel comfortable. So we hosted the first LGBTQ symposium in the NFL at our facility. I want people, I don't want people to feel like they gotta be in the closet. I mean, and, and I, so I think we need to be intentional, but we also need to be aware. I mean, our VP of Finance, Kate Shabilsky, who, who I believe is still here, was here earlier, uh, she has a young child. And one of the things that I noticed in her office, she has pictures of her son, like basically pretty much every month all over. That says a lot because some companies you go into, women who have kids don't even put the pictures up because they want, don't want to be perceived as someone who may not be able to work in the workforce. So I say that to say it is very important uh, for us to be able to create an environment, whether you're a person of color, whether you're a gay person, transgender, whatever the case may be, that you're comfortable to come into our work environment to be able to work and feel free to be able to be creative. So that's something important. And I, I, I hope we get to the point where we don't have to have rules that people do the right thing and hire the best person um, and allow them to be able to grow. But we got a long way to go. Well, and I'd just like to add on that too, like the, just the this whole idea and notion of diversity on its own isn't enough. You have to have a sense and a feeling mm -hmm. of belonging, right? That you, that it's okay for you to be there and for you to be your true and authentic self. Mm -hmm. So it's great to hear that, that she has that in those pictures up. That's, that's one of the employee resource groups that we just started was working parents, you know, and that's, uh, those are important groups to have so that you can find your tribe within your organization um, to give you that sense of belonging.